Welcome back to Design with Miyoshi. Um, I want to show a little bit about uh, how to fix or modify a um, exploded view. But first, I want to thank Northwest Technical Products for sponsoring this video. If you are part of an educational institution in Washington, Alaska, Oregon, Idaho, or Montana, contact Northwest Technical Products for all your SOLIDWORKS and other technical needs. Thanks, Andrew, and all the crew at Northwest Technical Products. So I'm going to open up an exploded VR down. So here's an assembly. Uh, that's a drawing. So let's open up the assembly. So I'll just open up this assembly of the whole cab here. So if I, again, if I hold the control key and I'll use the wheel as a middle mouse button, I can just drag that over there. And you can see that that's my exploded view. Well, if I want to change that exploded view, normally, this is over on the left, you can see this pane. Normally, this is the the view that I see, the feature manager. Well, if I click on the third tab, the one that looks, I don't know what that looks like, this is the configuration manager. And if I click the configuration manager, I can see here is my exploded view. So if I want to, so I hit the triangle there to show the exploded view. If I right click on this exploded view, I can collapse it and I can right click and I can, oops, I should be able to expand it too. Explode it. And then I can also uh, animate the collapse and explosion. It's kind of cool. You can see it doing all its fun stuff there. And that's always a neat thing to do. Um, and you can see the animation controller. I can just click that and go down. I can change the speed and a bunch of other stuff. I can loop it. And anyway, you know, it's all kind of fun stuff there. So let's get that back and let's go ahead and explode it again. Um, if I want to change it, I can edit the feature, right click. So I just right click on this guy and edit the feature. And now I can add new steps if I want. I can go back and change steps. You know, maybe I, I see this guy here and I want to um, change how far it's moved. The DAO, maybe I don't want it to be 1.5, maybe I want it to be 2.5 or something like that. You know, you can do all those good things here. But um, or, like I said, if you need to, you can be, uh, you can go and be done and you can add a new step here. Or you can select some other stuff. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff here. Um, and you can, what is it, undo a file, I want to undo anything, I can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and close this guy up. Because right now, it's beautiful. I don't need to do anything. I do like to watch it do its animation. That's always fun to do. And that's probably a good way to, to end this whole thing is just to um, be done by showing that little animation there. So that's it. Just a little bit about editing our uh, um, exploded view. And again, you just make sure when you're when you have your view that you want to explode. If you want to, if you want to edit an old exploded view, you can just click on this guy here and go to configurations. Uh, if you need to make a new exploded view, you can always just go over to exploded view and make a new exploded view. That's always a fun thing to do. So um, anyway, that is how to edit an exploded view and how to animate an exploded view. One other thing you can do with um, animating the explosions. So a couple other things you can do. If I right click over here and I do animate collapse, when you see this little controller, you see that there is this little button here. This shows a opening and closing or exploding and and putting back together. So if I click on that button, it goes back and forth. Notice that this little indicator shows back and forth. And it's um, putting it together and then exploding it again and then putting it together and exploding it again. And then the other thing you do that's really fun is you can click on this save animation. So if I want to save this guy, I can go ahead and click on the save button. And I'll just do self assembly, actually a semi assembly AVI, and that will do exactly what I need to. Uh, it'll fix the ratio. It'll do everything I want to. I can change this guy all the way like it this way. It'll be fine. Once I do that, I will, I can just save this up and I can change the codec to, we'll just do full frames uncompressed. Like, okay. And then it'll do its thing. And it's not worried about my, you know, my mouse or anything like that in there. We can take that into account. It just animates the um, exploding and putting it back together. And it'll just do that. And I would imagine it just does it once, and then it will save it up, and then it'll be happy. So, oh, oh. I guess I can stop at any time. Then I'm done. So, um, now I can go ahead and look in the file. And there it is. And we can see it animating, opening and closing, and all that good stuff. And let's see how long it went. It just keep going and going and going until it's done. So um, the AVI animation and how to save that guy. Oops, I don't want to do that. So that is how to save your animation, how to make it open and close, or animate, open, explode, and back to put it back together. So um, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Design with Yoshi.